what will they take? So, and, and this is very, very relevant to, to what I'm seeing in, in Hawaii, too. What will the public take? Keep pushing, keep pushing. And if you don't meet resistance, then push some more. No resistance, push some more. This is why people have got to understand that this is where we are now, is not where it's due to end. It's just the latest stage on the road to where they want it to end. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at what point are we going to resist in big enough numbers to make the resistance effective? Are we gonna wait until um, there's a knock on the door and, and, and the truck's outside for the concentration camp? Are we gonna, do you think we might resist then? What about when they take your children away because there's, there's an emergency and force you to work um, uh, doing whatever job the government says that takes over your transport, that takes over the airwaves, that takes over the energy supplies, that takes over your home? At what point are we going to say enough in enough numbers to, to, to be effective and make a difference? Because that's the question people have got to ask. We have got to, I, I would suggest, Alex, move in, in, in terms of people that understanding of the conspiracy and awareness of the conspiracy from the point that most people once were where they're completely ignorant of the fact there is a conspiracy. And then thanks to um, a lot of work by a lot of dedicated people, that information has started circulating in, in very, very uh, large amounts. And suddenly we've moved to another stage with a lot of people where they're now standing on the other side of the street and now they're aware enough of the game to watch their own prison being built. So, oh, yes, oh, and what, oh, I'll tell you what they're going to do next. Oh, I, I told you, I knew they'd do that now. We've moved from not knowing the prison is being built around us to seeing it being built around us, but it's still being built around us. So we need to cross the road and start engaging with it in large numbers. Get organized. You're start right. You're right. The first massive campaigns of non-cooperation uh, with the system because it can't survive and it can't prosper and it can't work unless we have a, uh, it has our acquiescence. Well said. First, we've got to get people awakened, and we're deep into that process now. Then we have to get people to take action.